Hello and welcome back to another episode of Anne Marie Sews with Anne Marie and wow. Benji, wow. who is being very vocal today. Wow. <laughs> He's a very chatty kitty, as always. Wow. Yeah. Right, is Benji going to stay on my lap for this or wow. is Benji going to sit on the bed? I'll stay here for a minute. Right, as you can see behind me on the bed, there is a huge pile of fabric, and that must mean wow. that we have got a plans video. It can't possibly be another fabric haul, can it? <laughs> so um, let's get started with some of my autumn slash winter plans. Now, there is no set date on when I'm going to get these done by. Um, it will get done as and when. I'm hoping that I will get all of these sewn this year, no promises, but these are the things that I'm particularly interested in sewing at the moment. I do apologise, Benji has just found the wire to the camera and uh, apparently he likes it and is rubbing his face against it. Um, as I've said before, Benji is blind, um, but he's a happy cat um, and he finds his way round by seeing uh, by feeling and hearing so we okay here benji i have got a cup of tea on the go i will have to have a slurp of that during the video because i am suffering with a cold at the moment um so need to keep hydrated probably more than ever right okay so first on my plans involves finally some Fat quarters. Now these are all ones that I have got. No, they are not. These ones are ones that I've purchased at some point in time from Hobbycraft. And then this one is one that's come from So Hayley Jane. Um, I haven't gone through all of my fat quarters to find all of the orangey ones, but these are just the ones that were on top of the when I pulled all the fabric out a few minutes ago. Um both of these came in sets of other spotty fabrics that I have used in the past to make bibs or toys for children. Um, when my friend's children were younger, I sewed quite a lot for them. Not so much now, they're a bit older. Would you like to go and sit on the bed? Come on then, let's put you on the bed. Oh, he's purring though. I don't think he wants to leave me. Benji, you can actually have to let go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with me one minute. A few moments later. Right, sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah, so uh, I've made toys with the fat quarters in the past for little children, but the little children are no longer little. Um, but the orange ones never got used. Um, and I thought this was quite a nice one. It's more of a like mustardy colour. But it's got a bit of orange, orangeyness to it. Um, so I was thinking of making the pumpkins that were in the So Hayley Jane magazine. Um, so I'm hoping to get these sewn up in the next couple of days. So that is number one on my list. Um, number two, bear with me one moment. One eternity later. Right, sorry, I'm back. Um, I have actually already started this one, so maybe this one should be number one. Um, but I have got this lovely um, burgundy red, like wine red um, viscose jersey. And I am currently making the forget-me-not patterns Vera top. Um, and actually, I don't think there's a lot more to get done. So I am hoping to get that done in the next day or so, maybe even this evening. Um, so I think I'll put it all together. I've got the neck band is just pinned on, clipped on there. I need to sew the neck band on. Then I need to gather the sleeves because it's got these huge sleeves. So that's the end of the sleeve. I've got to gather all of that up and put the cuffs on. Um, and then hem it, I think. So yeah, not much left to do on there. Um, so hopefully I'll get that done maybe today or tomorrow. Um, that can go back down there. Then I am going to be visiting 
well, visit him. We are meeting up with my partner's uh, cousin and his sister and their partners in London in a couple of weeks. And his cousin has got a baby. So, I apologise for the chair. It is a noisy chair. I've pulled out these fabrics that I thought would be nice to make something with. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to get sewn up. Um, so probably won't use all of these fabrics, but these are my choices. So I've got this lovely, I don't think I've ever sewn with this one actually. Um, a lot of these, like I have made something with and I've still got plenty left over. But this one I don't think I've ever used. So it's a uh, grey jersey and then it's got all of these cars and trucks all over it. So I was thinking maybe something like the brindle and twig footy coverall. Um, or maybe something like a pup, uh, is it paparita? Pup yeah, I think it's called paparita. Um, some sort of top from them. Um, I'm not sure, but something nice for the little baby. I say little baby. Um, he is, oh, I can't remember now. I think he's about, I want to say he's about six months old. Maybe nine months old. I should probably know this. That's really bad. Anyway, he is in the largest thing that I've made him now. So I need to make some more things. So possibly that. Or I've got this, which... It's gorgeous. I did make something for my nephew, I think it was, in this. And it has got all sorts of things on there. You've got dinosaurs. Can you see that there's an upside down dinosaur there? Oh, there's one that's right way up. You've got cars. You've got diggers. Where's that digger gone? Oh, that one's upside down, but there's some diggers. Um, rugby balls, motorbikes, um, a skateboarder. You've got an aeroplane, lots and lots of different things on there. Oh, there's a robot, look, and a helicopter. So lots of things on there, really lovely fabric. It's like a, blue, a light blue. This one's a French terry. It's got that lovely loop back to it. You can see there. It's a loop back, French terry. Um, in this blue, it's kind of like a blue and white marl with the black images all over it. I really like that fabric, so probably that might go to the top of the list. Um, I think the grey one was just, oh no, the grey one's a French terry as well. Um, that's a loop back. And then this, I brought to make something for my friend's son when he was... I don't know, he was probably about seven or eight at the time. He's really into cars. Um, so this is what's left over from that. But it's a jersey in this navy blue with a blue sporty car print on it. Um, which is not showing up very well on the camera. There, there you go, something like that. Anyway, uh, really nice fabric so I might make there's not an awful lot left there so that's probably going to be if I do use this one a t-shirt um and then I think they are probably my top choices this one is a possibility it's this black and white and gray print like monochrome print and we've got zebras we've got giraffes we've got some sort of ape, orangutans, there's koalas, um, big giraffe, elephant, little elephant, all sorts all over there. Um, and that is a jersey. Um, so, and there's a fair bit of that. I don't think I've ever used that one before. So I think that will be, if I do use that one, it will be a footed coverall. And then I've got loads of this fabric. It is from, what's it called? Lizzie Grace Fabrics, who are no longer uh, printing their fabrics. I don't know if, there's, if they've still got their website running, but um, I brought, there's a couple of meters of this here 
which I just love this it's so gorgeous um so yeah I think that is definitely going to be a little outfit for him so that is definitely going to become something and then one of those maybe two of those depending on time will get sewn up um then some things for me with this huge pile here um i've also got some books here with some patterns in that i'm going to talk you through as well so i have got this gorgeous fox fabric absolutely love this and it's got some nice foxes on it there's some robins i did just see a robin now i can't see it up here and here um, and berries and yeah it's gorgeous this is a jersey um and this is going to be some pajamas um my favorite thing to do is to make the um patterns for pirates peg legs and then the Tilly and the Buttons Frankie T. But I'll also give this one a go. Which is in the Make It Simple book. The is it Jamie Pajamas? Let me just find it. Sorry, I should have actually marked this, shouldn't I? Um, Juno Pajamas, sorry. Um, Speed some of this up. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I might try those. However, I love this fabric and I don't want to waste it. And I know that my peg legs and my uh, Frankie T works um, and fits. I don't want to make this and then find that it doesn't fit or that I'm not happy with it. So, I don't know. I haven't 100% decided, but it'll either be Juno pyjamas or my pegs and Frankie T combo that I've made before. The ones I've made for myself before have always been in a French terry. So, um, if I was to do it in French terry again, I would need to size up the leggings. But I think in the jersey, they should be fine. I have got this lovely um, sweater knit. I don't know how you, what you'd call it. I don't know where I've got it from either. It's been hanging around for a while. I think it might actually have been lush cloth last this time last year, maybe. Anyway, it's this lovely sweater knit. It's got like this ribbed texture to it. Um, let's see if I can get it up closer to you so you can see. Um, and I want to make the Sinclair Patterns Harper Cardigan. Now there's a fair bit here, so I'm hoping to get either the duster or if not the one that's like um, like mid thigh length um, out of it. I'm, I'll see what I've, how much I can get out of it. But basically, if I can get a duster, I want a duster. If not, then it'll be the thigh length one. I'll probably get more wear out of the thigh length one though, to be honest. Um, I'll probably catch the duster length one on absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, I want to use that. Now, in my last vlog, I did show you these gorgeous buttons that I picked up on the Goldhawk Road. I don't know I call it the Goldhawk Road, on Goldhawk Road in London. And I, although the pattern doesn't call for buttons, I did think that these buttons would look quite nice on the cardigan um there's a bit of decoration i don't know whether i'll make them functioning buttons because i think on the longer ones you can there is enough uh like overlap that you could put buttons on it i'll have to look into that i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah those buttons with this fabric now if that works and I like the pattern, then I've got another two fabrics I want to use. So I've also got this, which is a faux angora. Let's see if I can get the, like it's got this really lovely fuzzy texture to it. Um, it's in this ivory creamy color. 
Um, it's coming up more white than it actually is. It's definitely like an off-white, actually. When you compare it to my top that I'm wearing, you can see that it is more of a cream. Um, if I use this one, if I like the pattern and I use this one, then this will be either like a normal, um, like just below the hip length, or a cropped one. I'm not 100% sure yet. If I don't like that pattern, then this is going to become another one of these, which is the Halla Patterns Autumn Sweater, I think it's called. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I'll put it in below if it's not. Um, but if it does become the Harper Cardigan, then these buttons are going to go on there. I absolutely love these buttons. I thought the buttons with that will look beautiful. So that is the plan for those. Then oh, I've got to fold all of this up properly afterwards. This is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Again, if it works well and I like the pattern, then this fabric here, which came in, I'm sorry, there is some fluff all over it. Um, this came in the Think Pink box. I can't remember if it was the last one. I think it was the last one. Um, which is this lovely textured knit. Everything is absolutely covered in cat hair. I'm very sorry. Um, it's this dark navy. It's coming up here a bit brighter because obviously the lighting is not great this evening. Um, but if I don't film this now, I don't know when I will. Um, the colour that you can see up in the top corner here is uh, more true. It's like a darker navy um, with this lovely texture to it. So again, if I do like the Harper Cardigan, if it fits, if I like it, then this is going to become a Harper Cardigan. Then, this came in a So Hayley Jane box. Not the last one, but the one before that, I think it was. Um, I think the box was called Honey Honey. And it's this waffle knit. Now, I think that this would make a nice skirt. Um, because I got the mini box, I do only have one metre. Um, so I think there, that will be fine for a skirt. Um, and then, if I manage to get that sewn up, then I can wear that when I'm wearing that. And it will look beautiful. Hopefully. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's going to be a skirt. I'm not 100% decided on what skirt yet. Um... I've got a few options. The one that I make the most regularly is the Tilly and the Buttons Bibby skirt. I say the most regularly, I've made three. Um, which would work for that. That would definitely work. Um, but then there's also the Patterns for Pirates pencil skirt. Is it just called the pencil skirt? Um, I think it's called the pencil skirt. Anyway, so that will be some sort of skirt. Not 100% decided yet, but a skirt. Then these I have already mentioned um, so I'll go through the patterns I've decided for these. Right sorry about that. So this one I was saying about in my previous vlog that I want to make something like a clueless style set. I know I will never wear them together but I really like the idea of a clueless style jacket and I love little skirts with, oh actually this, I wouldn't be able to wear tights with it would I? It's going to be a skirt anyway. So, I do apologise about the chair. Um, this is the jacket that I found, I'm not dead set on it. Um, I think I'm still going to have to look a bit further. I do think there was a magazine that had a really good pattern in. So if I do find it, we'll put a picture of it in here. Um, but if not, then I think possibly this one, because it is made for, this one's made in a um, tweed. So it's a woven fabric, so it's suitable for, for wovens. Um, it says it's uh, suitable for pre-quilted fabrics, denim, corduroy, velveteen, synthetic suede. P PK, I think it's called, Sears Sucker and Brocade. 
but I think an upholstery fabric would be fine for that one as so that's a possibility um and the skirt sorry I had to dig deep for that I want to make the Tilly in the button yeah it's the Delphine skirt this one here so I've made this before in a corduroy um which I wear with tights I absolutely love it it is a little bit short because that is Tilly style and it is meant to be a short skirt oh look it's the one that's actually on the cover um it is meant to be a short skirt I think I will lengthen it by an inch or two just um to make it a little bit more wearable for me in my day-to-day -day life um but yes that I think will become a uh, Delphine skirt then I also showed you earlier I say earlier I'm filming two vlogs in one day um in my previous vlog I showed you this lovely corduroy I absolutely love this um and that is going to become the Tilly and the Buttons Delphine 100% definitely um and that might actually be quite high up on my list because I absolutely love that fabric and I think that is suitable for autumn winter the pink one less so that's probably more of a spring summer sort of make that might be bumped down the list however it's taken up quite a lot of room so I would like to use it up fairly quickly but this one definitely needs to be used very soon um the other thing that I noticed when we were in the shop was actually this fabric this upholstery fabric and this do go quite nicely together because it's got the pinks in it um so if I do make a jacket out of this that skirt and that jacket could be worn together and I think they'll look okay although seeing them on camera I'm not so sure but maybe we'll see and then um, earlier on I uh, I've really got to stop saying that in my other vlog <laughs> this um sweatshirting I was talking about I was saying about maybe making the Tammy hoodie but without the hood um I haven't decided yet it's still either going to be the Tammy hoodie without the hood or the star sweater I think it was called let me just grab it it's underneath this big pile <sighs> yeah it's called the star sweatshirt which was from um love sewing um which is it's there it's cut out it's ready to go because i have made that before and i believe it still fits although i might want to add a little bit of uh room into it i might have to size up possibly um if not then i've got the tammy is also all cut out as well because i have made two of those so one of those um for this pattern for this pattern for this fabric sorry I don't think I even know what I'm talking about right the last one but possibly one of my favorites I was going to say possibly my favorite but no the corduroy is definitely my favorite one so this glittery denim which I absolutely love is going to become some sort of pinafore it, now I have made the Clio pinafore twice the, from Tilly and the Buttons and I love them both. The second one I hacked to put a zip down the side. Yeah, so the, sorry I have to think about this. So the original Clio pattern doesn't have a fastening in the bottom but I found that it was quite large because obviously it's got to go over your hips but then it's then quite big on your waist. And I didn't like that, so I did take it in and put a zip in the side. But I think that's now too small for me. So if I do that again, I need to size up on the pattern I've made. The one moment, sorry. The other option is in the Make It Simple book. Tilly has got one called the Olive Pinafore. Um, which is here and she's got the option for sorry she's got this one which is the v-neck one um which i like i'm very sorry that the 
light is reflecting on that bit quite badly. So we've got this option, or she also has the hack version, the make it your own version in here, is this pinafore with uh, a rounded neck instead. So I'm not sure. I think I prefer the V-neck. I definitely wouldn't be going for the patch pockets that it's on here. Um, I, I'm i not a fan of pockets. Sorry, I've said it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of pockets. I just feel like they add bulk to areas that you just don't want bulk in. Um, and I don't really use a pocket because very few of my clothes have pockets or if they do, they're not big enough to actually use. So... Um, yeah, I wouldn't put the patch pockets on, but either the round one or the V-neck one. I think I prefer it with the V-neck, but I don't know. With something underneath it, I think I prefer the idea of a round neck. So I'm not 100% certain on that yet, um, and I'm not even sure it will be the olive pinafore. It might be the Clio pinafore. I don't think I've got another pinafore dress pattern and I really do not need to go out buying any more patterns actually that I must have some more pinafore patterns I've got so many of the big four that I just don't even think about because they're a headache <laughs> but maybe I will for this um although then that might end up wasting my beautiful fabric and this is why I never get anything sewn. I think that is going to be the Clio because it's tried and tested and I do not want to waste this fabric. I absolutely love it. Yes, that is going to be a Clio. I am decided. That is going to be a Clio. This is going to be a star jumper unless I unless I made the biggest size last time, which I don't think I did. Um, that's going to be the star jumper from the Love Sewing magazine. Um, I believe it's still available to download, but I've definitely got it saved somewhere so I can uh, reprint the pattern if I need to. Um, this, I'm really hoping that I can get that made up as a Harper cardigan. Um, if not, I'm going to have to find something else for it. I have in the past made the... Um, I think it's called, they're called Anne Elaine. Anne Elaine. I'll write it down the bottom here. Um, coffee and tea uh, cardigan. I think I made myself the coffee version. Yes, and I made the tea version for somebody else. The tea version is straight and the coffee has got the rounded bits. So if I was to use that one instead, I'd go for the tea. But it's definitely going to be either a an Elaine tea cardigan or the Harper by Sinclair Patterns. Um, but there you go. That is my plans for autumn slash winter. I'm hoping to get a fair few things sewn up this week. I'm going to get the pumpkins done, um, obviously this week, because I want them done before Halloween. The... Um, one that I've put on the floor. The Vera top is going to be done this week because it's nearly there already. Um, and then the baby clothes I'm hoping to get done this week because they I'm meeting up with um, the person who I'm giving that to in a couple of weeks time. And then I'm really hoping to get a start on one of those Harper cardigans or maybe get one completely sewn up and decide what I'm doing with the other fabrics. Um, right, thank you very much for um, watching. Please let me know if you've got any um, ideas on any of those fabrics or any of those plans. If you've got any experiences of any of those patterns, please let me know. Um, if you have not already, please do like and subscribe and I will see you back here again very soon. Bye.